everybody, this is RoughDog4 from PS3 Imports, and today we're going to be doing a review of Reflection of Mine. Uh, this currently, I believe, only has two stacks. It's NA and EU. Uh, there could be a Japan. If there is, I apologize for that. I'm not 100%. And basically, it's just the puzzle game. There's some slight story in it, but basically it is just nothing but a story game. If you played some of those games, like, what is it, like, the... I think it's like Tomb Raider Go, or is it Hitman Go? Basically, that's the way the game works. It's that simple. It's really... So, if you pull up guides that show you which directions to move in, you could certainly get this plat in about an hour. So, it's very uh, simple. So, uh, there's two modes that you get to start off in the beginning of the game. I'm not... I end up doing Hysteria. I'm not sure about Phobia, only because it says the game cannot be completed on uh, 100%. So I don't know if you could do that. I didn't really want to chance it. So, but you know, basically in the beginning, it starts off very simple, right? It just starts off with a story, and you're just getting your own, just getting used to the game. This isn't, by the way, uh, how the game is going to be. So, I found this game like really creepy at times. Like, so it was just, it was really, really weird. So anyway, you can see, like, very slight story, and then it kicks into it. And if you want to get the Platinum, basically, you actually only need to do the first three levels. Uh, but as you can see, only the very first one you start off with that's open. So we're going to go ahead and click this, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start with level one. And basically, it's really simple. All you're trying to do is move, and you can see you're controlling two characters, right? Reflection of mine. And basically, you're just trying to move it and get to this symbol right here. And once you do, you advance to the next level. It's that simple. Well, I don't want to say it's that simple, you know what I mean? But it's just something to keep in mind. So every once in a while, you'll see uh, on this, and you'll hear uh, you press it on the symbol, right? And then you can try to die, which you do. But then you go back there, right? And you can continue past it. So just like a little small tweaks about the game. So uh, I believe you need to complete most of the games... Uh, within a certain amount of moves. But again, there are guides out there to be able to do it for you. So, so turn back time. And just move over to the objective. As you can see, like, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not super bad, so. It's a really, it's like I said, it's a very interesting game. It gets really kind of creepy at times. Okay, so. And as you can see, it's like I could finish the objective over there on the left, right, and then just move the character over there. So, definitely not a problem. So now you can see they're doing, uh, they have a step counter in there, right? So you need to clear this within uh, 32 steps. For the most part, it sh really shouldn't be, I think, that bad. So, a lot of the times you're going to have to do a move like that, where it's like, okay, you block one character up there, right? And then now you can make your way up with the other characters. And, you know, and then you want to try to find gaps like this where you move the character left and then notice how the other one is blocked, right? So it kind of just helps out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is move this character over here and then down. Oh, I'm definitely not going to clear this in the right amount of moves. And as you can see, uh, I finished the level, right? Now, I think to unlock, I'm not 100%, but I think if you want to unlock the uh, special levels, though, I think you need to do it in the right amount of moves. So, as you can see, you didn't do it in the right amount of moves. So, if I go back in here, I'll see if I could try to do it right this time. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's like I screwed up that first level, right? But if we do this level, right, it's like, okay, so... Now we have to do this in 29 moves, so you have to go back through the other level again, but we will go through this one. And as you can see, if you be really careful, you can certainly pull this off. Alright, so do that to save. The beginning parts are a little uh, good. Uh, some of the some of the levels you can see there, I clear it in 29, right, and then I got a diary entry. So uh, some of the levels are going to be a little bit more difficult than others. So I would try to keep that in mind. Um, but basically, outside of that though, it's really not that bad. Um, as you do this game though, right, like so each I think each stage has about like 15 levels. 
there is some story in between, but it's basically as simple as you walking around, so it's really not that bad. So, uh, anyway, guys, um, I really hope that you enjoy this game. It, you know, like I said, it, there's really nothing trick. If this game ends up tricking you up a little bit, you could easily find a guide to help you out, so it's really not that bad. So, don't fright too much about it. Um, you should easily be able to get this done in an hour. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this guide. Please uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, and have a great day, everybody.